Hello there, I am Chris Palmer and in today's local SEO video, what I would like to share with you is a SOP or a way that you can start crafting and creating your internal location pages into winners. So I don't want to waste any time. I want to guide you through this process so you can start scaling out your locations for your top services without hesitation. So before I get into this, I want to point out chrispalmermarketing.com for any type of SEO service needs. We have you covered with that out of the way let's go ahead and talk about a project that we're working on now so what I want to guide you through here is creating and crafting what I call winner pages so let's take John here John is a an appliance repair he offers a magnitude of different services he does refrigerator repair he does he does ovens he does small appliances large appliances he does big appliances he has all types of services in he does all of these here refrigerators dryers stoves sub-zero wolf air conditioners heating repairs the list goes on and on but at the end of the day primary keyword is appliance repair of course on the website we would like to talk about the secondary services or these other services that we offer but the primary keyword that we're going after clients repair plus location so what I want to walk you through here is how we can create what I call a winning so first and foremost we need to determine out of the locations that you are providing your service in which location has the highest competition for this particular individual or this particular company it just so happens to be inside of Fayetteville Fayetteville is located in Georgia so when we're crafting or creating our winning the initial makeup of the page is going to be crafted crafted from the hardest area because generally if we can craft a page that has the right word counts and headers and images in the hardest area generally it will carry over very well to other locations and here's what I mean by this here's what I mean by crafting and creating a winning page let's take Fayetteville for instance so if we want to rank for Fayetteville we want to rank for appliance repair appliance repair Fayetteville Georgia we scroll on down the page and we can quickly see that we have Angie's list and Yelp these are directories these aren't companies that look like us the first person that we find on the list is this company here and then dependable right so these are the top two performing pages so the very first thing in creating a winning location page is we need to determine our word counts so what we would like to do is we like to figure out okay this is a top performer I'm using a Chrome extension called SEO inside of SEO quake it will quickly lay out the word counts and also the densities free Chrome extension so we can see here that one of the top performers here Sears home services has 1600 words the next top performer in Fayetteville has a amount of 610 words we're gonna going we're going to grab one more particular person which is DC okay one more company we're gonna grab one more company here in order to establish an average so the next one is going to be 700 words so very quickly we can understand that we need we have 1600 words plus 800 words a 700 words equals 30 100 we divide that by the three sites we have a thousand words thousand and fifty so somewhere between a thousand and fifteen hundred is where we want to be all right so check we want to go ahead and mark that down so we know that we need 1,500 words we need about a thousand to about 1,500 words the very next thing that we need to establish is well how many headers heading tags do these competitors generally have well when we take a quick look utilizing a free Chrome extension you could use SEO meta in one click or you can go ahead and utilize a tool called uh, SEO Pro extension by Marketing Syrup. These are both free Chrome extensions that you can go ahead and get. I'm not sponsored. They're just free. They're cool tools. But if we take a look here, we can see that this top performer here has 29, 30, 31, 32 headers. This next person here has 24, 26, 27 headers. So we have a 30 and a 24. The next thing here is going to be one, two, and three. All right. So we're looking at doing the same exact thing. We need to come up with an average. 20 26, 24, 4 equals, divide that by the three sites, 18 headers. 18 headers is where we want to be at, right? Somewhere in the range of 18 headers. Now, something that I've quickly understood when utilizing SEO, there's always a range. You can usually half that and you can go 9 to 18, all right? So we know it's going to be 
89 to 18 headers. So we know that the H1 is going to contain the primary keyword. So appliance, repair, plus city. That's always going to be the H1. The title is going to be appliance, repair, plus city, right? So we have title, H1, description. Uh, uh, again, I'm, I'm trying to put this. It's always going to contain brand plus keyword, okay? Keyword. So we have our title, H1, meta description. The good rule of thumb is we want to have one per thousand words. So if the going rate is probably about 1500, let's say it's 2000, we want to have at least two images, two images. We have our description title in H1, and we know we need a thousand to 1500 words. The next element that we need to know is, well, how many of the headers contain the primary keyword or a variation thereof? So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at that. We're going to look and see, hey, how many headers contain the keyword? One, we're going to count them up. A good rule of thumb generally is going to, but I strongly urge you at taking a look at the top performing websites, see how many headings need to be optimized. For this, so I don't have to waste any time here, we already know that 60% of the headings contain a keyword. That's 60% optimized. So if we have nine or we have 18 headings, nine of them need to be tuned. Okay. Now, once we are armed with this information, know our word count, we know how many headers, we know what our H1 title, description, we know how many images, and we know how many headers need to be tuned. There's one more element. On average, on the in the hardest area that you want to target, how many times are they generally utilizing the keyword? And this is without using any tools, just utilizing your eyes and manually checking to see what do these got what do these companies have? So we can come in here and quickly understand that appliance and repair we're looking out of three and a five let's go in here appliance and repair five and a two right we're starting to see a range and we can come in here appliance and repair and repair so we have a three and a so we know that the range is between about three five percent density for the primary keyword and their variation we want to probably get in that range so we don't want to start off on the high range we want to start off on the low range so i would always recommend starting at the lower so let's say it's going to be a 2.5 percent density for the primary keyword so appliance the word repair, the word repairs, right? Primary keywords, and then of course the location. Once we've ar been armed with this information, the next step is let's take this information and craft our winning. How is this done? We know the amount of words. We know the headers. We know what our H1 title description and how many images we need. We know what the uh, primary amount of headers that need to be optimized. And we know what our average density is for the keywords that are really driving the page. So. The next element is going to be crafting that winning page. We start developing that winning page. Let's come back over here and let me share with you what we start doing then. Come into here. Let me go back in here to Duda. We're still working on this particular project for this gentleman. Bear with me. One second. Come inside of here. Once we have crafted our winning page, come in here. Let's say it's going to be Fayetteville. Start with Fayetteville. For you, of course, it's going to be different. It could be also a different service. The very first thing that we need to understand is that we're going to have have our page that's going to be made up of roughly about 1200 to 1500 words. The next piece is going to be, we know that we need X amount of headers, right? So one H1, and we're going to have X amount of headers. We just did the math together, right? The next element is we need to know what the density is. Okay, how many times are they using specific keywords in the text, right? right? So we've made the right amount of headers. We still have to write the content, of course. But now we have a winning page. We're going to go copy, all right? And you could do this inside of your builder, or you could do this inside of the text, right? You could do it in the builder. You could do it in a text document. But now we can start. We have our winning piece of content, right? We have the word count. We have our density. We know how many headers need to be tuned. Now, how many densities of the primary keywords we need inside? We've crafted our winning page for one location. So how do we make it for other locations? There's two things that you need to do. One is we need to go in here and create variations utilizing the secondary locales. What I mean by this is you're going to gather up your location pages. This particular uh, company or business, we know that they want to target these areas here. We have Fayetteville, Peachtree, Hampton, Tyrone, Riverdale, Jones, right? The list goes on and on. Every instance that you utilized Fayetteville, you're going to swap for Peachtree City. And every instance that's swapped, now we have our Peachtree content. We're going to do the same thing for Hampton. Every instance that we utilize the word Fayetteville, we're going to swap out and make it Hampton. And then it goes on and on. We're going to do Tyrone. We're going to do Riverdale. We're going to do Jonesboro. We're going to do them all. The reason why we're able to utilize this is because when we're targeting different SERP, Fayetteville and Peachtree City are two separate SERPs. So that's why when we're utilizing 
utilizing different location information and modifiers inside of the title, H1 and all of our other tags, and also the, t the density of that primary keyword, that location is high, we're able to not compete with ourselves. We're talking about local SERPs. This is an affiliate. This is an e-com. This is local. These are two separate SERPs. Appliance repair in Fayetteville is different than appliance repair in Riverdale. We're able to utilize that same content, but there is still some variation that needs to be done. Talk about that right now. So what we like to do is instead of muddying the page or making too much extra work, what we like to do is we also like to create a FAQ or a frequently asked questions or people also ask or a Q&A, whatever you want to call it. We're going to utilize some of the fact schema so we can not only take up more space in the SERP, but we can also get some geo-relevant information. In. So here's how this is done. What we're going to do is we're going to develop a set of questions between two. So some of the questions could be, all right, and I made a, a quick example here. Question is, John Heating and Cooling Appliance Repair offers services in blank location. The second question would be, what is location? You can generally do two or three of these questions, which will then be added into the FQ of the page. If you're unsure of how to create FAQ or you're struggling with this, what you can quickly do is you can look for technical SEO schema generator. All right, there's one online that's completely free. The technicalseo.com, you come right over here and they make it so easy, so easy for us to generate this text. So you come in here and you find FAQ. The question is, this right here, we're going to gather up our info. Take, let me grab it for you so I can give you a quick. So does heating and cooling offer these services in this area? Copy that, bring it over to our generator. Here's the question. Then you write your answer. When you're done, you grab this script and you can either put it into the head or into the body of your text. Have an HTML widget if you're using WordPress, you can add it in there, or you could quickly add it into the head. So not only does, not only now will we have piece of information or content that is going to be able to target multiple SERPs for the same keyword. Now we've been able to create multiple pieces of content that can target these locations very easily. We can get those pages up and into the SERPs. And then also within our schema, we're able to geo, make the pages geo relevant, add in some Q and A's, we're adding some f is going to be relevant to the location because we don't want to throw the density off on the page talking about ice cream shops and what's popular. No, put it into the schema. This makes the this makes the page overall relevant for the location and it makes it unique for that keyword plus location. Let me tell you about the next step. You launch and create all of these pages. I, at the end of the day, they are very similar to one another, right? Right. So once they are launched, after you resubmit your sitemap in Google Search Console, created your sitemap, you've resubmitted it, you've gotten the content uh, searched and crawled, you've gone over to Search Console. So if you don't have Google Search Console, I advise that you created your sitemap, you submit your sitemap to Google and to Bing, you get everything crawled and seen and indexed or into the search results. If your page is not already competing on page two or at the bottom of page one after you launch, after some time, then you want to start going in there per location and re-optimizing based on the top performer. What I mean by this is if I come over here to Peachtree, this is another location, crafted the content based on the biggest area. We go into Peach, we made it on Fayetteville. We go to Peachtree Appliance Repair. If our page isn't already competing, we need to go back in and re-optimize our page based on that locale if it's not competing already. And generally what we want to look at is do we need to fix the headers? We need to add more variations of the keyword? Do we need to take away some words? Do we need to add some words? We want to go back in and re-optimize that page to fit the SERP a little bit better. But in order to scale quickly into these locations for primary keywords plus area, this is the fastest way to do it. Once you have your pages up, once you see where Google rewards them, is it bottom of page two? Is it top of page two? Is it bottom of page one? Where did you land? Are you on page one or page two? Yes or no? If you're not, you need to go back in and re-optimize those pages until you hit. You're either top of page two or bottom of page page one. If you're not there yet, then your on page isn't right. Once you have your on page right, then you can start looking at and building links. So this is how you create and craft a winning location page. My name is Chris Palmer. If this is just too much and you want someone to handle it for you, check us out at chrispalmermarketing.com. If you need help with this or anything else SEO related, never hesitate. Feel free to ask any and all questions below. I answer them all. If you have anything that I can help you with, anything at all, reach out. I'd love to help you. And of course, I look forward to seeing you in the next Local SEO, how to create and craft a winning location page. Have a blessed day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.